you've got to get sound and an idea that sounds like cream cheese. One, 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 <laughs> one, 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 two, one, two, three. Little, 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 little. House about 15 years old, um, and he plays uh, a number of strip clubs and burlesque halls. And House is great. Five bucks, fantastic. So House stands against the board, and the guy starts throwing knives and forming the outline. At which point, House mother shows up. I have to assume that playing with any band that he ever played with, and no matter who he ever ended up recording with, it was never going to be as bad as standing against that board having knives thrown at him. Better than money in the bank. Takes a sticky up. Okay, next line. It's skippy. It's almost like the sound of a fast beating heart. They gave up everything for the music. Sunlight diffused by smog looks metallic. Sometimes we'll walk out of the stage wherever we are and, and guys will be walking behind me and say, what are we playing first? I say, I don't know. And we may just start blowing. But it really, and it becomes something. So it has to be more than somebody just uh, picking up a horn and going <laughs> But really good jazz is improvisory jazz. Buddha! It's the grain, it's nature, like a log or a tree, and turning it into something of such grace and beauty. Um, there's enormous elegance about how. Gee, gee, yeah. No, no, we're cool. When I was 18 years old, I was with Les Brown. You know, I was with really some terrific bands. Woody Herman, uh, Benny Goodman, Boyd Rayburn Orchestra, Buddy Rich Big Band, uh, Erskine Hawkins, with Charlie Parker, and you know, Max Roach. The Claude Thornhill Orchestra, Dizzy Gillespie, who I worked with mostly at Birdland in New York. I used to play the Savoy Ballroom uptown in New York and Harlem. I used to do the Apollo Theater. All is well, 3 a.m. in the morning, all is well. I mean, we were on buses a lot of the time doing one-nighters. You witnessed a lot of things, sometimes cruel things, you know, on the road. Through the whole thing was this common thread, which is what you share with your fellow musicians, which was to create incredible music and to be as good as you could possibly be. In hotels, we used to practice in a closet because we didn't want to annoy some little lady or nice man trying to sleep next door. Most of us develop really big sounds because, as you know, in a closet there's no sound. Bah, and the sound is... Jazz starts to play an increasingly minor role in pop music. I mean, the singers, they got fat. Then they dressed him in dresses that made him look fatter. Young people, um, for a variety of reasons, no longer gravitate toward it in the late 50s. Not our fault. Yes, it is your fault. It it's is? all your fault. Okay. All you guys, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. You have a stiff upper lip. You think you can get back to playing now? Da -da. Try it again. Yeah. Your E. Why me? I mean, we do these jazz band classes at 8 o'clock in the morning. People come in half asleep. Inside of five, inside of five minutes, they're swinging. I mean, teaching is sharing. You know, what could be nicer? Uh -huh. 